welcome back. I'm in the studio with the most important person in the world, my mother, Lynn Felsch, the Emergency Service Coordinator of the American Red Cross, the Capital Region Chapter. She's here to talk about volunteering in South Lake Tahoe. A lot of people think that the Red Cross is only for disasters, but they actually do a lot of stuff in the area. So tell us about what you guys do on a local level here in Tahoe. Well, actually, we have 97% of all the things that we do are residential fires, so people don't realize that. And we have what's called a disaster action team. Um, we call it a DAT team. And those are American Red Cross first responders who go out and we actually put people in a hotel for three nights and give them money for food and clothing. So we need to recruit. We need more folks. And you guys did just open up a warming center for a couple weeks ago when the temperatures were very cold. A lot of people were out of power and they couldn't get that many volunteers to help out. So. What do the volunteers in this area do and how, how can they help the Red Cross? Well, what we need to have them do is get trained. And just so happens, I have a training class this Saturday from 9 to 4 in Myers. Um, so what I'd like them to do is call me as soon as possible. We'll get you registered and get you trained. There's so many different things that you can do. You can um, actually plan events for us. You can be an instructor if you'd like to be a health and safety instructor, a disaster instructor, um, and we also need leadership over here. So we really need, do need folks. And like I said, there's an array of things that you can do. And what? Um, how can they get a hold of you and when do they need to sign up by? Well, I would need to know probably by Thursday. Um, and they can just call me at 530-391-8234. And they can also go to the website and check out what we do. Um, and that would be redcrosscrc.org. Um, we've got a lot of classes. We've got, you know, babysitting would be great for the young ones. So um, that would be an opportunity. And the other thing that we have coming up is uh, Red Cross Month in March. Right. So that has been actually a presidential declaration for years. Um, and what we'd like to see is everybody do something for the Red Cross. Take a class for yourself. Learn how to save a life. Right. Um, give blood. We can always use that. Um, and then, like I said, you can donate as well. And what about CPR certifications and stuff like that? I know you guys do that. So um, do you have any of those classes? We do. And as a matter of fact, we've just had a change. Um, we are now able to certify a two-year certificate. So that is really great for us, and it helps you know folks out so they don't have to go every year. And the great thing is we do a little tune-up every three months, and it's free. So because you get rusty if you're not mm -hmm. using it all the time. And so tell us one more time the importance of volunteers helping out in the community. I mean, not only for their community, but for a huge regional company mm -hmm. like the American Red Cross. Well, you all remember Angora Fire. Right. And, it, you know, the Red Cross now jumps into action. And so you've got to keep trained. And, you know, they don't happen all the time. So in between, what we're doing is preparedness, community preparedness. We want folks to be ready. We want you to have your backpack ready with all your emergency supplies, ready to go at a moment's notice. You don't have any time, certainly no time then to gather your supplies. So we would do training, um, like I said, first aid, CPR, all of those things. And it's more than just disasters on, on with the weather, hurricanes, stuff like that. I mean, there's the fires, there's floods, mm -hmm. pipes freezing, exactly. power outages. So exactly. it's great to really get involved. And with Red Cross Month coming up, you guys also have the Snowfest coming up. So We do. What are you guys doing for the Snowfest this well, year? Well, we'll be participating in both parades. Um, let's see, Tahoe City is March 5th and then Kings Beach is the 12th. So we will be in the parade. We will be passing out um, information, preparedness information. The dogs will be passing out pets and disaster information. Oh, so, even if you're a pet, there's yeah, a disaster. And absolutely. And you might need to get the pet out of there as well. And you know, you've got to prepare for your pet. Right. So shot records, leashes, all of that stuff, food. You should have all that stuff in your to-go bag. So you don't have to think of it. You just grab it and run. Right. And one more time, when is the um, upcoming event and what this time? This Saturday. It's crucial. We really do need folks from the South Shore. Um, 9 to 4 in Myers. Uh, it'll be at the fire department there, but you will have to call me to register for the class. Okay. And where can people register and what's the website? The website, once again, is redcrosscrc.org. 
And you can call me at 530-391-8234. Uh, All right. Thanks, Mom. Oh, you're welcome, honey. Oh, cutest interview <laughs> ever, right? So Red Cross, Sierra, they need volunteers. Very important to help out the community and the American Red Cross. We will be back and go ahead and wrap up the show when we return for Tahoe Today.